All right, so this is a tutorial on uh, setting up a Unity project and getting your assets into it. So first thing I'm going to do is open up Unity. Bam. And I'm going to pause it. All right, so it popped open. So now what I'm going to do is just do a new project. It might have a window that asks you and you just say do a new project. So I'm just going to do um, a new project. And, uh, and then what's going to do is I'm going to set this up for 2D by default. Yours might look a little bit different. I think this is an older version. Um, and then you can choose what you want to load in. Now, you can load any of these things in at any time. So it's actually best to not load anything in um, because it'll just make it open up faster. So um, browse. I want this to be on the desktop. It's always good to work off the desktop because that way, um, that way when you... Uh, are done you can just transfer it back and forth and I whenever I'm working on things I always work off the desktop so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna make a new folder I'm just gonna call it um, uh, motion narrative all right and uh, create and that will make a new thing it's gonna pop back open fabulous all right so now what I need to do is bring in my assets. Now you can do them a couple different ways. Um, I am going to. Um, we'll just we'll do it kind of the more manual way. So I'm going to actually minimize this, and here's the project folder that it made. Okay, so it'll make all these folders which are already set up. The assets is all the things that you bring in. So I'm going to open up this assets, and then. Uh, and then I have my thing over here. Let me see. Uh, motion narrative. Okay. Artwork. So here's my assets that I made. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab all of these. And I'm going to drop them in here. All right. And then what you're going to see happen in here, you can actually see, I don't know if you can tell, my thing's like buzzing. You can actually see it made all these things automatically, these meta files. And you can see actually, come on, open up Unity. There it goes. It's actually loading it in as we speak. You can see how like it's actually trying to, to chew on it and understand it. Um, but it should show up hopefully soon. I'm going to pause it while, it while it eats away at that. And then when it gets done, it automatically pops up here. And I have all of my uh, various things that I can use. All right. Um, and we're good. Okay. So. Uh, next, what I need to do is just set up. I'm just going to set up one panel just so that it's here. Um, so I'm going to grab my first uh, background piece here. So, I, uh, well, we'll talk about it later. Um, so I'm just going to click and actually. So if I click and drag it in, it's going to drop it wherever I put it. If I put it up in in the hierarchy thing here, it will. It should be center. So that's there. We go. All right, um, and I'm just going to grab one after another and drag these all up like so. Okay, and I'm going to back this up. Good. All right, so now there's my first panel that I drew. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create an empty because uh, in this case it's going to be like making a folder. So oops. I'm going to go ahead and change the name on this, and we'll just call it... Um, background zero one. All right. All right. Apparently I didn't save it. Background zero one. Enter. Okay. And then I'm just going to take all of these items and actually just parent them to this. And that way I can collapse it because once I have a lot of things in there, it'll be annoying. So, um, good. So, uh, we got that and that looks good. Uh, now I just need to bring the character in, and this time I'm actually just going to... No, it won't let me. Okay. I'm going to bring all of these items up in here. All right. Why are you doing that? Let's see. All right. Apparently it didn't want me to do all of them at once. Oh, because it thinks it's an animation. Cause if I... Okay, well. So i got to grab each one of these and pull them up. Like so. All right. Oops. 
got to make two of those. Lower arm, lower leg. Upper arm, upper leg. Foot. Uh, lower leg. Lower arm. Upper leg. Upper arm. I think that's all of them. Might have missed something. I don't know. Let's see. Alright. Oops, and looks like I'm missing a hand, that's for sure. Uh, where are you, hand? Right hand. Where's left hand? There it is, left hand. Oh, whoops, no, actually, it would be his right hand, so when I want. Okay, good. All right, so now I have all my pieces. Uh, now what i got to do is just organize them to make sure that they are in the uh, correct order here. Um, actually, before I even do that, I'm going to create another empty. And just name this one character. All right, and I'm gonna take all of these pieces and drop them in there. Okay, so now they're all parented to that. And then basically I just gotta organize each of these uh, in order uh, so that they um, are where I want them, right? So, uh, let's see. Um, probably the best way to do it is just put what you want in the back. So I'm gonna say this leg is probably the most back item, so that would be his left leg. So where are we here? Left lower leg put this under here um, and then was left uh, duh, 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 upper leg okay boom and left foot okay good uh, so, no, it's not supposed to be there yet okay so I got upper leg put you there so right upper leg. Oh, what am I doing? It is supposed to be left. left lower leg. Boom, boom, boom. Good. Uh, then obviously the arms, right? So let's do that as well. So left upper arm. Uh, left lower arm. Left hand. Good. And... Then we're going to do the chest, I guess, next. So where are you, chest? chest. Okay. Um, good. And then... Okay. Oh, that should work anyway for now okay um i'm just gonna go ahead and organize this and then i'll all right so i organized it now what i'm gonna do is actually these all have to get parented in the chains as well so obviously like the lower leg i got to parent to the upper leg and the foot i got to parent to the lower leg uh so that way when i wrote move one it will move the others right okay um and so on and so forth so i'm just gonna do this like that so um just parenting each thing to um each of the other things. So, uh, you know, lower leg to upper leg, foot to foot, and then hand to lower arm, lower arm to upper arm, and then uh, the leg to the waist, and the other leg to the waist, and then this to the chest, and this to the chest, okay? Um, and then we will make the waist the top tier thing, um, and then the head to the neck, and the eyes to the head, and the eyebrows also to the head, and then the neck to the chest. Good. All right. So this is what we have basically just a, a normal hierarchical um, parenting structure. Okay? Good. Now... Um, one of the things you may notice is that uh, it doesn't look the way you want, right? Like, um, some of these things are on top and some are behind and whatever. Uh, and it's just because that's the way it brought it in. There's a couple different ways to approach this. One way is to actually move these on Z, uh, which is good for some things because it'll, um, it'll give you depth and things. Um, so... Uh, I could switch from 2D to, uh, to 3D, and then um, oops. 
uh, rotate this out and I could, you know, move this forward, you know what I mean? So make sure that that's in front. Uh, so like, for instance, the eyes here, I could take those and actually physically put them in front and then you would see them. And it's neat too, because you can create a sort of like, you know, panned thing. And for the background items, I'm going to do that so that I could create a, a faux parallax kind of thing. Um, but I don't know if I really want to do that. So what I'm going to do instead is use the sorting layers. So if you look over here, we have um, a sorting layer and then order in layer. So you can have multiple layers and then the numbers they're in. So um, I'm going to make like a background, foreground, and midground one. So I'm just going to add a sorting layer and we'll hit plus and we will call this um, background. Bam. Make another one. Call this one midground. Bam. And then we'll do foreground. Foreground. Bam. Okay, good. So that's all nice. Now we're going to go back over here and we're going to take this and the sorting layer is going to be midground. Okay. So it's kind of annoying. I don't think it'll let me do all of them. Or it will. Okay. So midground. Now they're all midground. Beautiful. All right. Now we have to do is choose what's in the back and then what's in the front. So zero is most to the back, while the other things are most to the front. So for instance, if I take these eyes and put it on one, they'll come up front. Okay. What I need to do is count how many pieces I have here and then take the numbers and go down the line. Now I can have them exist on the same layers, but it'd be nice to have control over that. So I have, um, let me see, uh, I have 19 pieces. Okay. Uh, okay. So. What that means is I have to have 19 layers. Well, zero being one, so that would be 18. Um, I'll do 19 just for good measure. So the thing I want to be most in the front would be the eyes, right? So I'm going to do 19 here. The eyebrows, I'll do 18. And then let's see, the head will be 17. And then the neck will make uh, 16. All right. Okay. So after the neck, probably the next highest thing would be the arms. Yeah. So we'll do um, the left upper arm. Where are you? Left upper arm. Okay. So you would be. What was I on? Six. What was the last one? Sixteen. Okay. So I'm on fifteen. So we'll say fifteen. And then uh, 6, 14, 13. Um, you can see basically it's putting one over, over each of these. And instead of doing this all right in front of you, you can probably figure out how you need to organize this. Um, so it would be the arm then would be what the leg, left upper leg. No, that would be his right upper leg. That's what I need to do, right upper arm. Oh crap, I did it backwards. I did left and it should have been should have been his right. Whoops. Okay. So this should be fifteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. And thirteen. Okay, and then I gotta do the right upper leg. And this would be twelve. Eleven. 10. Then the next highest thing would probably be his chest. So where's the chest that I leave off on? 10. So this would be 9. And then the, uh, let's see, chest. Then we'll say the waist. Where's the waist? This would be 8. Then we'll say it's his other arm. So let's see, where are you? Left upper arm. Yep, okay, that. And this will be seven. Yeah, seven. All right. Six. Five. And so on and so forth. I'm going to go right down the line like that. All right. So uh, there's bringing the character in, and we'll continue with another video after this.